I have uh, one last thing that I've been playing with for a while and wanted to talk about, Pete, and it is called the Mackie DLZ Creator. This looks like and is a mixer. Uh, it's 800 bucks, but I'll, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, it is a mixer built for people podcasting, streaming, YouTube, all of that. Uh, it It really is built to be sort of your all-in-one solution. And it also connects to your computer, but it has an SD card and it has a USB port. So you could actually record right from this thing to, you know, either an internal card or an external device. So you could do it all right here. It's got four XLR and and quarter inch. It's got four combo inputs. So you can plug in up to four microphones and then it's got um, two, really three other channels that are sort of. Uh, assignable to, to various different things. You can assign them to um, the, uh, the, the, there's inputs, like more quarter inch inputs that you can assign them to. You can assign them to a Bluetooth input. You can assign them to uh, USB outputs from your Mac. So your Mac could use like your Mac, it's some audio generated from your Mac could go out to this mm. and you can mix and match those. And then it has a separate, uh, an additional channel for built-in sound effects so you could have like your theme music and your ding sound and all that stuff and there are six soft pads on that channel that you can just use to trigger and there are four banks that you can have loaded there so up to 24 different sounds as you sort of bounce around this it's almost got a mini stream deck built into it and in that sense yes yeah um it it auto it it has the capability of auto mixing so you tell it, okay, I want these four channels or these two channels, like if we were just having you and me in there, I want these two channels to be um, the, the levels to be equal, right. or I want, you know, these three channels to be equal, but with one to take priority. So if the host starts talking, it ducks the other two, but otherwise auto mix them so that everybody's equal. Uh, you can turn that on or off. And it has four headphone outputs and there are four headphone jacks. You can have four separate headphone mixes uh, where, you know, you you have, you know, you could like whatever you want in your ears is different from what I have in my ears. Or if there's something you want muted from your ears, you can do that, too. Now, where this starts to get really interesting is I started thinking about this. I'm like, OK, well, so everything I've just described so far is great for the person podcasting with people in the same room. Like, to, like it would right. be fantastic right. for that. But of course, I don't generally podcast with people in the same room. I podcast with people who sometimes are literally on the other side of the world. And so there are more features. It connects to your Mac, as I said, via USB. And there is sound that can go from your Mac out to it. So I could grab the sound from your, uh, you know, from the, our VoIP connection. We use StreamYard, right. but it could be Skype or Discord or whatever. It doesn't matter. And I could route that out to one of the channels here because there are there are actually uh, two stereo sends from the Mac to this mixer that are assignable. Great. Okay. So now I've got, you know, a fader for Dave's local mic, a fader for Pete's remote mic. Great. I have my sound effects fader. Great. I have another fader from the second stream coming from my Mac that might be, say, you know, listener questions that I'm playing from the Mac. Okay. So now I can mix that. So far, we're checking all the boxes, right? This is... This is good. Nice. My Mac can capture the sound coming back from this. Uh, either the full mix. So if I want to use the mixer to actually mix things and send it back, I can do that. Or it's a multi-channel uh, capable device. So I could grab the audio from every channel and record it in, say, Logic. And that includes the channel that's coming from you out from StreamYard to this mixer, back into the Mac, into Logic, but processed by the mixer. And yes, now my head hurts. I'm right? sorry. <laughs> but it's like all the things, but it's like processed. They have covered every base. Oh my yeah. goodness. And there's processing. There's, there's, yeah. there's uh, effects like, like reverb and delay. There's compression on this. Uh, every <sighs> chance, right? Like, so it's got all the things. It sounds good. Here's the part. As I'm going through this, I'm like, okay, so the one thing I'm missing though is I need that headphone output to be able to go back to you because I need to send you a signal that doesn't have your voice in it because it would be on a slight delay and that would drive you batty. You don't want to hear that. Well, 
They have a little oh, feature. Dave, au contraire. I love hearing my own voice. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> so they have a little feature on the headphone outputs. You can pick any one of them to okay. be sent back to the Mac via USB. So now I could create a headphone mix, right? Like they've thought of all the things. I I can't. Like I, I, I need to, I need to rip apart my studio and uh, record a, an episode with this, or at least a dummy episode with it, which I've actually sort of okay. done already. And I, I really haven't found the, the, you know, they, they, there's like they, they, it seems like they've caught everything. I, it's, it's like, it's almost like they listened to what I needed and built it, and maybe That's they did. Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. somebody who clearly understands. Yes. Sound engineering put the yeah. thought into this and podcast needs like because i've used yes. like the roadcaster and things like that and there's always like a well you know there's the asterisk of yeah. Yeah, i can't really get the mix i want back in so i've got to do that in a different way and it's fine but mm, you know but like this yeah okay now yeah so they're not giving this away but what you've got up on the screen in your screen share shows a couple other risks so this is at 7.99 yes and it looks like there's something up there for five ninety nine and three ninety nine. Are those, those the are, same companies? No, not the same company. No. Okay, the, one of them is the Road Roadcaster. Yeah, yeah no, it oh, it would okay. like th this would be even for me. This would be a little overkill, right? Because I don't need four mic pre's. No, I that's you know I, something. I could do two. So there's a maybe. This is their first foray into this at Mackie. Um, Maybe there's a world where there's the Mackie DLZ creator mini or something, you know, two years down the road. I don't know where. Well, with four, I mean, that could be, you know, it could be a mixer for a band or. Um, I no? You wouldn't. Yes, it technically mm -hmm. could. Okay. It's not built for that. But but yeah, I mean, it's got all the outputs. So, yes, yeah. I could I could mix a band with four signals. I mean, as long as you were doing like just vocals, which sometimes yeah. happens. So, yeah, I mean, in a pinch. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool, I'm really impressed by this device, so I, that's why I wanted to take a few minutes and just talk about it here.